Hi, this is Alex from Plankton Electronics. In this video we'll be watching how a triangle wave is affected by the Newton. Some people requested this, so here we are. Uh, we have the scope output on the spectrum on a laser. Basically what we have here is the output of the triangle wave of the ant oscillator directly to the Newton, at the channel 1 of the Newton, and the output is going directly to the mixer. So what we listen is just the triangle through the Newton, no more extra BCAs, no filtering. So if we turn down the potentiometer, we see how the sound goes off like any standard BCA. And if we go up, we start to see the triangle without clipping. And now we are watching how the valley is being rounded and the peak is being more hard clipped. This is asymmetrical clipping. And we go further. We see how it's clipping more and more. triangle start to clipping here a more square wave like clipping so this is a uh, this channel is set up with the rear control bias control which uh, sets up the signal that goes through the Newton and at channel 2 we have set up this control more bias it so we can have a different uh, clipping more asymmetrical clipping so this is more exaggerated now we, we can see how the peak is being affected earlier while the valley is just a triangle and now if we go up we see how all the wave is squared so these are two ways of setting up the new tone the standard wave is just the, the channel one gets interesting when we add some movement here so if you add like an envelope we can see how it goes squared and triangle so now what we will do is to connect the envelope of the and synthesizer directly to the CB input and now we see how it is affected like in a filter similar to a filter but it's just clipping at the highest levels a longer decay a longer attack this is a basic sequence on the eloquencer working like a standard any standard PCA but it's clipping at a certain point we add some CB control to the oscillator so we are going up with this CB attenuator to get more clipping Attack up. Now we are sending the channel 1 directly to the channel 2 in series with the sending potentiometer. Channel 2 is not affected with the CV control uh, with the envelope, just channel 1. So channel 2 is just uh, distorting the signal without any envelope. We can add some feedback. Now we add some cross feedback. Now we, what, what we are doing is sending the channel 1 to channel 2 and channel 2 back to channel 1 and we are creating some artifacts. Going down again, some more 
Remember that this is just a triangle wave directly to the Newton, nothing else. The envelope, of course, and the sequencer. Bass sound now. So that's it. I hope that you liked the video and enjoyed it. Remember that we are still on Kickstarter. There are seven days left to arrive to the goal and we have not arrived yet. So we ask for your support and to back this project to be a reality. Thanks for watching and see you soon.